what we're going to do is we're going to walk through how to graph protons and neutrons. First, navigate to Critical Minds, go to Courses, Physical Science or Chemistry, scroll down to Classwork or Homework, click on the Excel data. When you open that link, you'll need to download the document. So you download it, open with Microsoft Excel. You may need to click on Downloads. You might need to click on Open in Finder. And when you see it, two finger click, open with, open with Microsoft Excel. So you may need to go in and open it that way. I don't. Now what we're going to do is we're going to graph this data. We're going to graph protons on the x-axis and number of neutrons on the y-axis. The number of protons is the same as the atomic number. So what we'll be focusing on are these two columns. So let's get to work. First thing, click on charts, scatter, mark scatter. Excel, as typical, will automatically input some data, which is incorrect. Select a data point, two finger click, select data. It's going to have this is what it automatically input. We need to remove everything. So click on remove as many times as necessary to make it blank. And then add. This one is going to be called, the name is going to, going to be atomic structure. And now we will select our X values. Click this icon to select our X values. We're going to click and highlight all of the atomic numbers from 1 all the way down to 118. Click the icon to jump back and now for our Y values. It actually doesn't matter which order so I'm going to go from 175 back up to the top. Notice I did not select my title. And I'll click OK. Here's my graph. I'm going to move chart now to a separate sheet just so I can focus only on my graph. Next thing, chart quick layouts. I want layout number nine. Delete the legend, delete the grid lines, and now we need to change sizes. We need to change the main title to size 36. We need to change the axis titles to 32. I'll press Command Y because I want to redo that. I'm going to change the axis labels to 24. Axis labels, Command Y to 24. Trend line equation to 24. And I'll move my trend line out of the way, equation out of the way. Next, we're going to fix this axis. Um, two finger select and then two finger click format axis we need to change the scale make our minimum zero our maximum can stay at 200 with every 50 units marked we're going to do the same thing here on the y axis or sorry on the x axis to select two finger click format axis we're going to change our maximum to 120 this time and our major unit is going to be upgraded to 40 you can see that changes the number of values shown and now we have our graph what we should see is that it's relatively consistent trend all the way up until we get right around in here this is around element number 90 or so um, element number 92 is uranium, and that's the largest naturally occurring element. After that, uh, nuclear geometry changes, and they are much less stable. All of these elements out here are unstable. The radioactive, they break down because of the nuclear geometry is unstable. Uh, last but not least, I need to change my access titles. Sorry. Just need to delete the information here. 
This needs to be proton or sorry, neutrons. And we should have protons here. Now all you need to do is save it to your desktop, drag and drop it into your Google Drive, and you're done. Thank you.